We get together here on Wednesday evenings and talk about the early days of single sideband. Uh, this has been going on for many, many years, and we do this as a public service uh, for those who are working on vintage radios and uh, restoring classic vacuum tube equipment, as most of us are operating tonight. I'm starting out here on a radio called Cheap and Easy SSB from QST 1956, which was built by KG7TR in recent times, uh, built on the chassis of a BC458 phasing type exciter, and later he built a uh, homebrew uh, receiver to go with it. So this is an entirely homebrew station except for the Johnson Viking Courier that I'm using to amplify the signal up to about uh, 400 watts, something like that. Buy sell trades are appropriate if they're vintage radio related. And if you're working on a radio and you need some technical advice, this is a great place to get it. I'm going to call five or six people that are, I know are here. We've got a long list of earlies. If you were an early and you forgot, uh, you were forgotten about before we started taking can check ins from the outside come in and say hey i was an early y'all should have picked me up before you take outside uh, check ins here with three of us uh, juggling all these inputs it's a little bit tricky we don't always get 100% right okay ka 5 cxg hey bob i got you number 1 on the list you out there somewhere yeah, you better believe it ka 5 cxg right here uh, and enjoying the net um, I'm enjoying the pre net man there's a lot of stations and they're all coming in good so everybody's doing good. We're running the old uh, 850. Expect to be running an 830 pretty soon or an 820, either one. Uh, I've got both of them that will be here. Uh, I've got, uh, let's see, my old tuner, my rebuilt MFJ, and my old Dentron GLA 1000. And that's about it. Now, hearing everybody extremely well for the conditions. I didn't think it was going to be this good, but it's turned out better than I thought. See you all next week. And Byron, I'll give Paul your radio in the morning sometime tomorrow. He's supposed to, we're supposed to get together tomorrow and, and send that down. And also the speaker for Jay. So everybody's carrying stuff everywhere for everybody that can't make it. We'll see you all later, K560. Okay, Bob, well done. Good to hear you tonight. Uh, let's move on down the road here and talk to WW9W. Hey, Robert, talk to us. All right, Lynn, K5, L-O-Y-N, and the boat anchors. This is WW9W up here in Allen, Texas, just outside of Dallas. I'm on the KWM2 this evening uh, with the uh, three, uh, three, what is that, 312B, uh, 314B, whatever, the console, and the 30 on one and I'm using a uh, Shure uh, 522 microphone, but I've got a, uh, it's a 444 uh, cartridge in it, so running that into a coaxial dipole, double bazooka, about 45 feet at the apex. Oh, looks like hell, oh, about 600 watts, 6700 watts from the old 30L1. Appreciate you, Lynn. Good to hear you guys. Looking forward to seeing you guys this weekend. Jim and I should be there about 2 o'clock, 2.30 tomorrow. And we'll have a few goodies. Nothing like we've had in the past, the last time there, but we will have a few goodies to put on the table. And we do have two tables. Appreciate it, Lynn. k 5 lyn www Outstanding, Robert. Uh, looking forward to the eyeball QSO. And y'all are going to beat me there. I don't get there till Friday morning, but we'll make the best of it. You sound good this afternoon. All right, N5JJI. Hey, Ed, you still over there somewhere? Yeah, hi, Lynn. Thank you, Lynn, and the group. This is N5JJI. Running my dad's hand-me-down TS530 uh, MC50 mic into the old uh, SB201 and out the window into a inverted V up at about 40 feet. Looking forward to a good night's uh, listening here. 73s back to net. Hey, Ed, I don't know if you've said this before about that being your father's rig. Maybe you have and I missed it. But I always like to hear that because uh, it's kind of nice to hear somebody that's carrying on a great tradition. Over. Yeah, if I had to sell off everything else in the house, I wouldn't sell this. Very cool, and it sounded great. All right, let's see. Uh, SE, Dennis, are you still there somewhere? W5SE? 
All right, maybe not. I'm going to pick up N5OJB, then I'm going to jump ahead and pick up my neighbor from out in Lee County, WA5IGG. So, Denver, OJB, talk to us. All right, uh, this is N5OJB, Denver. I'm in Gonzales, Texas, uh, roughly 60 miles south of Austin on Highway 183. And I'm talking to you on a, a, a 32S1 and a 75S1 and using a 312B4 uh, console with it, uh, but all winged emblem, and uh, driving a, a, excuse me, a Dentron clipper to nail, uh, showing me about 11, 1200 watts, doing a pretty good job, uh, into an old inverted V-fan dipole, and using a Shure 444 black microphone. Uh, and everything seems to be doing what it's supposed to. So, Lynn, I'm going to give it back to you. Hey, Denver, you going to make it Friday, Saturday? When am I going to see you? Well, if everything works, I'm going to come Friday afternoon. If not, I'm going to try to get, I'm going to be up there Saturday. Okay. Uh, I have a, a doctor's appointment here with my eyes. The doctor's going to help bring us up to date. Over to you, K5LYN. Come on. Yeah. IGG, Adolph? Oh, okay, yeah, K5LYN, WA5IGG. That was a little bit of a double there, so I didn't quite catch it. But anyway, thanks for picking me up. And uh, this afternoon, we're operating on the Helicraft or Twin CSX-146 receiver with the HT-46 transmitter into the AMP uh, supply company LA-1000A and uh, using a Turner Plus 3 microphone. So that's the setup. And uh, most everything here I've got, like you, like you know, uh, Lynn, I've got about five different uh, rigs, and, uh, mo and they're all working pretty good. But my SX-117 is down, and, boy, I'm just brokenhearted about it. What do you need to get it running? I need a transformer, a uh, 50KC uh, transformer. Uh, and uh, they're, they're found not only in the SX-117, but also in the 115 and the SX-101A. So, you know, I'm hoping for a parts rig out there sometime, and I'm going to be trying to make it up to Belton to see what's up there. All right, we may know of a source here. I'll get back with you, Adolf. Uh, we will, we'll be in touch on that deal. Uh, I think we're, we're going to get it worked out. Okay, well, I hope so. It's the only thing I've got that's down. Everything else is working pretty good. So, anyway, a lot of strong signals tonight, uh, 30 to 40 over, and everybody has sounded good. So, uh, thanks for picking me up. This is WA5IGG, back to Nick. Outstanding, Adolph. We'll be in touch. Hey, you going to see you at Belton? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna try. I don't know if it's going to be uh, Friday or Saturday, but it's my intention to be there. All right, I'll be there most of Friday and, and half of Saturday, so uh, we'll get something going. All right, Jay, you want to take this while I see if I can get the uh, radio version of a 59 Studebaker going over here? K5LYN. Okay, Lynn. Yeah, I had to, <clears throat> I had to uh, dig up my cotton-picking headphones and uh, quit interfering with Mama's TV. But anyway, <laughs> she couldn't hear the TV over it. Well, anyway, it's the band got real good, and that's a good thing. But uh, everything's cool now. All right. This is JKM5QS, and of course, this is Vote Anchors Unlimited the day before the beginnings of the Belt and the Hand Fest. So everybody's all excited. I'm looking forward to seeing everybody. I'm going to have a bunch of brisket up there. Pick some up tomorrow and take it up there, and we'll go from there. Let me see. Let me check. Let me check on uh, that cotton picking Walmart driver. W five SC. Dennis, you still there? Yes, sir. Oh, I appreciate right, you picking me up, Jeff. I'm sitting here woke myself up snoring, but yes, sir, we're we're still here waiting for the net. And thank you for picking me up. W five SC. Back to you, Jay. Okay. Was that it? Yes, sir. I, it's all I could do to kick out words, and now I'm a verb, and I'm I'm, I'm a full sentence. That's probably the. the well, anyway, no, I won't say that. Well, I'll make fun of you later, but anyway. <laughs> good to hear you. It will be good to see you tomorrow, too, or the next day, or whenever you show up. Thanks, Dennis. Um, okay, uh, MIX, Matt, are you still by? Yes, sir, go ahead. 
Okay. Well, it's good to hear you, and it'll be good to see you if you all can make it. Um, so uh, thanks for what you do, and we'll talk to you later. Let me see who I got next. Uh, KC5 WLF Jimmy. Are you there, Jimmy? I'll I'll, um, <clears throat> I'll act like a press secretary and circle back. WB5 TXW. Hello, George. Over. Dang, did I lose George? Oh, maybe the band dropped Plum out. Uh, KW5KO, David, are you still listening? Hey, Jay, and everybody on the net. Uh, once again, like I mentioned earlier, I don't have anything really to uh, uh, put on the, the trader's net, but I tell you what, I've been listening for years. Uh, I uh, try to try to get out here in the shack uh, or the cave every Wednesday to make sure that I catch the, uh, the boat anchors. I like the old stuff. Uh, don't have any old stuff. But uh, nonetheless, I enjoy listening to everybody. Have a good time. So keep up the good work, and we appreciate what y'all do. KW5, K73s, everybody. All righty, David. Well, you know, you know how that goes. Over the next three days or so, we could fix you up. Uh, yeah, I'd have no room, brother. <laughs> I know the feeling. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, somebody with audio, and uh, can I help you, sir? DJ Ah, okay. Uh, I'll put you down here somewhere. We'll get to you in a little bit. Um, um, WB1E, Doug. Yeah, hello, everybody, and all around the boat anchors. Net. This is Doug at WB1E over here in outskirts of Reliance, Texas, just outside of Bryan. And, uh, yeah, talking to you tonight on the Swan 500. Good old trusty Swan 500. The uh, microphone's an electric voice 638. And it's barefoot tonight. Let's see. Oh, 330, 340 watts PEP at a, a, the uh, finals, a, a set of uh, six uh, HS5s. And I uh, believe we're running about 900 volts. So uh, there you go. Let's see. I'm seeing uh, about peak of, well, about 400 milliamps. So, <laughs> so there you go. Uh, it's going up through PSRG uh, 250. I'm sorry, 213. And uh, up to an inverted V with a homemade 4 to 1 balance. Uh, and uh, uh, yeah, look forward to seeing everybody at Belton. I'll be there Friday morning. Hopefully, I'll have my regular old parking spot. And, um, and we'll just take it from there. Uh, we'll have an, uh, uh, well, I'll have some stuff for sale. Look forward to uh, hopefully walk away with a little pocket cash and not spending more than I came with. So, uh, but you know, that's always possible because I always show up with a little folded money. And so I look forward to see everybody's smiling face. So until then, uh, I'll send it back to Jay and then Rusty and Lynn. Uh, uh, all y'all, thanks for running the net. So back to net. Well, all righty then. Yeah, yeah, it'll be good to see everybody. And, you know, if, if you break even, you're still ahead of the game. So <laughs> what can I say? Let me uh, let me check back and see if Jimmy's back in there. KC5 WLF, are you back yet? I'm doing something for his wife. Um, I couldn't quite copy that. Yeah, Jay, he's probably taking care of something for his wife. He will return, I'm sure. Oh, okay. I didn't catch that. Well, maybe if, uh, yeah, all righty. We'll just, we'll move on. Uh, George, are you there? WB5, TXW. All righty, I'll go to a WA5, EDX. How about you, Byron? My goodness, W5DPP, I heard Sammy in there a while ago.
WA580X back. Oh, okay, Byron, go ahead. Okay, good evening, everybody. Uh, this is Byron, WA580X, Bluffdale, Texas. Uh, and uh, tonight I'm on Fairfield on it. Kenwood 830S that uh, didn't burn up in the big L fire. I think I was saying. Uh, I'm on inverted D and stayed up. And uh, I guess that's all I have to report. So I'll be there Friday. I'm looking forward to seeing everybody. There's some good eating. Tell some uh, call tales. Uh, back to you, WFIBDX. Okay, Byron. Yes, sir. Come hungry. <laughs> That's all I can say. All right. Um, Whiskey 5, Delta Kilo. Come on in here, Don. Yeah, evening, Jay and everybody on the boat anchor. This is Don. I'm in uh, Spring Branch, the one in the hill country north of San Antonio. Beautiful sunset uh, evening here. We're just running the normal Drake station. I got the TR4. Uh, the C4 console, and I'm running the L4 amp just because I don't want it to get spoiled and uh, using some electricity there. Looking forward to belting and seeing everybody. I'll remind everybody to take a shower and use antiperspirant, and we'll see you this weekend. W5DK. Back to you, Jay. <laughs> That's okay, Don. The mesquite smoke will cover up everything anyway, so <laughs> it won't make any difference. Oh, uh, yeah, we're looking forward to it also. Oh, uh, well, I'll get a few more, and then I'll turn it to Rusty. Um, how about KE5Q? All right, I'm here. <laughs> KM5QS of the net. KE5Q, Jim and Plano, and good evening to everybody. Uh, and uh, Doug, that uh, Swan 500 uh, sounds good with the 300 watts there. Sounds real good. Look forward to seeing you there, I guess, on Friday. Anyway, I'm on the KWM2, but tonight, instead of the 3001, I'm driving the L4B. That's going into the double bazooka Ultimax uh, 8040 antenna with a sure 444. And uh, we'll be ready for brisket, uh, for sure. KM5QS. Uh, now, as Robert said, uh, we'll be there about 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. KE5Q. All righty, Jim. Yeah, good deal. Well, there should be enough there. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm bringing some that's already going to be cooked, so early birds won't miss out. Uh, KC5L, Tom. Hey, good evening, Red, and the Boat Anchors Net. Uh, I'm sorry, Jay. <laughs> good evening, Jay, and the Boat Anchors Net. This is Tom, KC5L. Uh, tonight, we're talking about the 6 Electronics 200Z with a D104 microphone, uh, driving a uh, 600L amplifier uh, and a Johnson KW Matchbox and a homebrew doublet of about uh, 15 feet, and we're listening on the R390A. And I hope to see everyone in uh, Belton on Saturday. I'll be there. And uh, that's all I have, so uh, back to you, KC5L. Okay, Tom. Good deal. All right. Um, let me see. K-W-O-Z. Dan. Hey. Good evening, Jay. Uh, and everybody else on the boat anchors net. This is Dan, K-W-O-Z, in the middle of Houston, the sanctuary city. Uh, where the uh, the bayou is high, but uh, the taxes follow it the same. I'm just running the uh, old standby Kenwood 8 TS 830, and I'm driving a homebrew 3813s amplifier. It's running about a little over 1300 watts tonight here, 1350. And uh, let's see, antenna's a uh, just an inverted V shaped like an L uh, because of the corner lot. And it's about up about 42 feet, something like that. The microphone's at MC50. And that's pretty much it. Uh, finally finished my second uh, high voltage power supply for the second 10 tech Titan amplifier. And uh, last night I added on the. Uh, into a dummy load, of course, and is putting out a little over, uh, well, well over 1,500 watts anyway. I think with 40 watts drive, it was about 1,700, and it was uh, hit it a lot higher than that. So at least I know the power supply is good, the RF deck since I rebuilt it is good. So uh, now I got two of those things here. Don't know what I'm going to do with them. 
And that's about it from here, Jay. So thanks for letting us in. Sorry it won't be a Belton, but uh, I'll be thinking about everybody that's there having a good time. K-W-O-Z, back to that. All righty. Well, well, we'll try to have enough fun for all of us, for both of us, and, and uh, see if we can figure out some way to get it to you. But uh, I can't promise nothing. <laughs> Anyway, uh, all right, Dan. All right, Rusty, um, I saved some for you there. Uh, you want a short list of who I've got left on my list? Uh, hang on a second here. Okay, go ahead, Jay. Okay, there's uh, W5TF, Terry, and then AG5XP, Kenneth, and then... KC5, November, Papa Charlie, Hubert, and uh, then Donald, W5DAM. And uh, that's what I got left, so go ahead. All right, can you add one more to the list? K5EF. And then 5 Oh, my goodness. Yeah, Nick. Go, uh, yeah, Rusty, pick up Nick. Okay, I heard him. And then 5 g and I got another one that was in there earlier, too. <laughs> that was the only one I had on my early list because somebody else picked him up. But anyway, okay. Uh, what was that first one you gave me, Jay? That's Terry, Whiskey 5, Tango, Foxtrot. You I didn't pick up a light station there, in there, in there. I got the Whiskey 5, but I didn't get a Tango. I got the Foxtrot. Okay. W5TF over there, uh... In Mississippi, go ahead, Terry. Okay, Rusty, thank you. I gotta get over being scared. Nick come in and just about tore my rig up. He's south of me about a hundred miles. This Terry W5TF in Laurel, Mississippi. And uh, after 4.8 inches of rain uh, last night, I'm uh, finally walking on some solid ground. I'm on the uh, Central Electronics. Uh, 100B transmitter, Drake R4B receiver, driving an SB220 on the low tap by 600 watts, inverted a double bazooka up at about 60 feet. So uh, I'm going to be interested in hearing what uh, Nick's got to say. Hadn't heard him in a while. So I'll pass it back to you, Rusty. Thanks for picking me up. <coughs> And uh, I didn't get your call. This is oh, my call is WK5R. I've been, I've been doing a third, third net control here for quite a while. Well, anyway, thank you for checking in, Terry. And the Central Electronics sounds great. Band's in good shape right now between here and Mississippi. All right. Uh, AG5XP, go ahead. Yeah, thank you, Rusty, for picking me up. This is Kenneth, Alpha Golf 5, X-Ray Papa, up here in Brownwood. So far, we've missed that on all the fires, luckily, and all the nasty weather. Tonight, I'm on an FT-101 AA, going at our Gonset GSB-201. Got the old standby D-104 microphone, going at our G-5 RV antenna, and that's what we got here in Central Texas. Back to you, Rusty. Okay, there you know, the, uh, the old Yezu sounds good there. It's cooking with Presto. All right, we'll catch you next time. Okay, uh, KC5MPC. Go ahead, Hubert. Hello, Rusty. This is Hito Charlie 5, November Pop Charlie, uh, where it rain, never rains in San Angelo on the FT-101 Echo. tuner behind that, going out to an off-center fed dipole. So, uh, doing about 500 watts, looks like. So, that's about it from here. Uh, look forward to maybe getting down to Belton. If I'm there, I'll be there on Friday with bells on or something like that. <laughs> anyway, thanks for getting me in, Rusty K. C5 NPC. Okay, Hubert. Your old gauge is sounding good, too, there. All right, W5DAM. Go ahead, Donald. Recheck. Okay, stand by, Donald. Recheck, go ahead. Yep. Just put me on the bottom of the list there, N5 DJP. 
Got you. All right. Go ahead, Donald. 75 DAM, are you there? Well, I'll come back to him in a minute. K5ES, go ahead, Nick. Hey, Rossi, it's good to uh, chat with you tonight. It's K5ES. I know it's been a while since I've been on, but it seemed like uh, every Wednesday I was someplace else other than here. <laughs> anyway, it's good to hear everybody on, and Kay, as, as usual, has a a bone-crushing signal this way, and of course Terry's very loud because he's just up the road from me. Uh, running the Drake line today, uh, driving a um, uh, 3 amplifier. The antenna is um, a uh, the sloper antenna. And uh, my neighbor's not on, W5XU. He's doing some sort of DX thing off the coast of Venezuela. Apparently, we've got a DX sideband contest this weekend, so that's where David W5XU's hanging out. Uh, nothing really ex uh, special going on over here, except I wanted to check in on my Central Electronics 100B, um, but of course it decided tonight it wanted to have a problem. <laughs> so anyway, I'm running the Drake rig uh, tonight. That's it. Everybody's sounding good. Escape IVF. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> at least I'm not choking on barbecue. You don't have to slap me in the back. <laughs> Thank you for checking in, Nick. There you go. Your Drake line sounds great. Okay, uh, N5PF, Bill? Ah, good evening, Rusty in the net. Uh, this is N5PF, Phil, Vicksburg, Mississippi. By the way, Terry, you're loud over on this side of the state. See, you got a bunch of old stuff there on that, that page, uh, KRZ page. I guess that goes to the territory. It does in this house. I'm on a S line 32 S1, 75 S1 with uh, 312 B4 and uh, of course the power supply. Wouldn't work without it. Uh, I got a Hitchkit SB200 putting out about 6 or 700 and a higher microphone and a wire dipole, powder dipole at 45 feet. And uh, that's about as much damage as I can do uh, back to the net in 5 PF. All right. Collins, uh Sounds good there, Phil. And uh, we'll get all that junk put together for you and get this other power supply working for you. <laughs> we'll catch you later. All right, N5 DJP, go ahead. Yes, sir. Thank you for letting me in. I'm not running my little Yezu 101E tonight. I'm running my Kenwood 570. But I do have a couple of pieces in behind it. I've got the Birch. UT2000A transmat, and uh, I also have a SB200 that I picked up off of the trader's net last week, and uh, this little 200 turned out to be a jewel. It's uh, never been tampered with, has the original Citron tubes in it. I'm throwing uh, 35 watts into it, into the uh, SB200, getting out 500 watts. And I'm running it through a full 80 meter delta loop, uh, seven uh, delta loop at uh, about 40 feet, uh, 275 feet long there. Uh, Glad to be here on net. Just wanted to share that with you. And five DJP, Mike, and you came in Texas. Okay, Mike. Uh, oh, that uh, that rig. <laughs> you're sounding pretty good there, and your 200 is working fine. Appreciate you checking in. Okay, W five DAM. Are you back, Donald? All right. That's the end of my list. So. Who else is out there for the Boat Arkers Unlimited net? Come now. Uh, WP50 is that, 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 New Caney, Texas. K0 SCD. Okay, no, I got you there. Go five, ahead, Don. Yeah, this is W50 ZZ, New Caney, Texas, running at 830 Kenwood <clears throat> into a <clears throat> SB200 uh, amplifier and a double bazooka at about 45 feet. Over. All right. Well, it sounds good there, Don. Appreciate you checking in there. 
Okay, Kate Zero SCD. Go ahead, Steve. Oh, good evening, Rusty and all the boat anchors. K Zero SCD and Tyler. And again tonight, I'm on the trusty old Kenwood 520 and the Collins 30 L1 to dipole of oh, 40 odd feet. And that's about it. Uh, anticipating belt. That's about it. Back to you, Rusty. K Zero SCD. All right, neighbor. We'll look forward to seeing you there. All right, man. This man is cooking tonight. Who else is out there for the Boat Anchors Unlimited? Come now. In November 5, MB. Juliet Golf Extra. Golf 5, India, Echo Echo. Okay, uh, I'm going to have to take the first. I got a November 5, but I didn't get the, the suffix. You got a double there. Uh, November, Victor 5, Papa. November 5, Juliet Golf Extra. Okay, I got those two. Uh, NV5P, go ahead. Yeah, good afternoon, Rusty. Uh, John over in Graham running uh, TS530 uh, and uh, dipole at 20 feet and the uh, Sure 444. Uh, that's about it. Headed uh, headed down to Belton here in the next day or two, so hope to see some folks down there. Back to net control. All right, we'll look for you there, John. All right, uh, uh, another one was an M5. Uh, Juliet Papa something, I believe. Go ahead. And 5 JGX. And you go here and Austin to the parking lot. Uh, give me that again. I missed that. I got a, some kind of a noise there. Go ahead. That's Hugo. Juliet George X-Ray. Oh, G J. Yeah. J uh, G X. I'll get that. Go ahead. Anyway, let's see if you go here and uh, see the park. Timing in using a uh, Kenwood TS2000 with an LLS 600 and a fan dipole about uh, 30 feet. All right. I oh, don't care if you're on a modern rig, as long as you're interested. I can't even talk about it. Interest, interested in what we're doing. So I'll get it out in a minute. Well, I need some of that other stuff at Belt. <laughs> All righty. Uh, appreciate you checking in there. Uh, okay, uh, who else is there for the Boat Hikers Unlimited? Come now. Kilo Golf 5, India Echo Echo. KG5, IEE, -E, go ahead. Hey, good evening, everybody. Uh, this is Randall uh, in Marshall, Texas. And I'm running a TR4 tonight, uh, D104 microphone. Just barefoot, uh, going into a inside half wave. And uh, look forward to meeting some of y'all down in Belton this weekend. It'll be my first trip down to Belton, and uh, really looking forward to it. So uh, that's about it for me. So we'll turn it back to you, kg 5 ie All right, we'll look for you down there, uh, Randall. And, boy, that, that uh, Drake sounds great there. <laughs> uh. We'll catch you later. All right, who else is there in there for the Boat Anchors Unlimited net? Come now. Hello, India 5, Oscar, Oscar. Hey, I 5 oh, oh, go ahead. Hello, Rusty and everybody on the net. Uh, man, everybody's coming in great here. I'm in southwest Travis County, about eight miles out of Austin towards Dripping Springs. I'm running a TR3 tonight. Uh, it's an 80-meter uh, loop up about 20 feet and uh, using a Sure 444. Uh, look forward to Belton this weekend and hope to see a lot of my friends out there. Staff 500, back to net. All right, same here. Boy, there's some fantastic drakes, uh, drakes on the air tonight. <laughs> Appreciate y'all checking out. And I know there's another one out there waiting. Uh, so who's next for the Boat Anchors Unlimited? Come now. Kilo Alpha 5, Lima, Yankee Lima. K-A-5-L-Y-L. Go ahead. Kilo Alpha 5, Lima, Yankee Lima. Uh, 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 Lima,
and I'm running about, oh, around 100 watts. Uh, let's see, into um, an off-center fed dipole about about 40 feet. It's a feed point, and I think the ends are something like 15 to 20 feet, somewhere along in there. So uh, that's all we got here. Back to Nick, KA5LYL. All right. Well, I think the drakes are leading the pack tonight. We've had a bunch of them now. All sounded pretty doggone good. I uh, appreciate you checking in. Okay, who's next for the Bonehackers Unlimited? Come now. K5AXW. Oh, good Lord. Go ahead, Bill. Yeah, hello, Rusty in the net. K5AXW on the east side of Dripping Springs. Running the National NCX3. Getting a little help from the FL2100B. Into an off-center fed dipole. Six feet off the ground. Uh, HOA compliant. <laughs> the stealth antenna behind the fence. And uh, everybody's sounding good. Good net tonight. Uh, good band conditions. Uh, w let's see. WK5R. 3875, Leon. Yeah. Okay, on my way. Okay, Bill. Yeah, national sounding good there. And uh, uh, those HOA rules ain't keeping you from getting out. You're doing a fine job there. Appreciate you checking in. All right, I'm going to put out one more call, then I'm going to see if Lynn's ready to take another shot. Who else is out there for the Boat Anchors Unlimited? Come now. Well, I didn't hear anybody, and apparently my foot switch is not uh, malfunctioning tonight. Knock on wood. <laughs> it might do the next car, I don't know. All right. K5LYN, WK5R, are you ready, Lynn? Well, taking another shot might be the right word for it, uh, Rusty. Let's see if I'm making an intelligible signal. What do you think, K5LYN? I'd say go ahead with it. All right, good evening to Bill AXW there. All right, folks, this is K5LYN, Lynn and Austin returning, and I have changed stations since uh, we kicked this thing off. And uh, this, uh, this station kind of uh, fills up the corner of the room. Uh, on the left side, there's the Collins 310B, a permeability-tuned oscillator-type VFO from the year 1948. And I'm using that uh, oscillation from the 310B to excite Heathkit's single sideband adapter called the SB10 from the year 1959. Uh, that was a gimmick that they made that you could use to convert your old AM rig to a primitive version of single sideband. And I used it to convert the, the uh, Heathkit DX60 novice rig to a, about uh, 40 watts of single sideband. And I'm uh, using that to drive the Collins 30 l one So uh, because this is kind of a haywired uh, situation, I like to refer to this station as the radio version of a 59 Studebaker. Wasn't the best there was to have at the time, but it'll get you where you need to go. Listen on the Drake 2B. Who else out there wants to talk boat anchors tonight? K5LYN, listening. Reject, W85EDX. EDX, hey, Byron, talk to us. Uh, one quick thing I forgot to mention a while ago. Uh, uh, I am looking for a uh, RF cage cover cover the final deal on uh, Kitwood. Uh, 8.30 or 5.30, I think it's the same part. A little AL piece that goes over the 6142. Uh, so if you got a part rig and uh, can part with that, I'd uh, sure appreciate it. If you want to part with the whole uh, part rig, just bring it to Mountain. Thank you much, man. Hey, Byron, any chance a 520 would have the same parts you need? Oh, no. No, uh, it's common between the 530 and 830. The uh, 520, 820s, I have lots of those. <laughs> I have lots of excess of those, but I don't have uh, one for the 530 or 830. Okay, all right. Well, the reason I brought that out, I'm, uh, I've got W5 uh, SFN. Uh, 520s that I'm bringing up there. He was uh, one of our net members for many years. And one of them works pretty well. The other is kind of a parts rig. So I will have them there at the uh, tailgate side. Anything else, Byron? Over? All negative. All right. Who else wants to talk boat anchors? K5LYN lifting. Okay, now. K5AXW recheck. AXW, talk to us, Bill. Yeah, I just want to let you know I've got a little bit of it too, uh, a little bit of a carrier signature, and I haven't adjusted the carrier on this thing in some time, but 
Hey, you got a pretty healthy carrier signature if you didn't know that already. Not that it matters. Well, it doesn't uh, show up on the meters, you know, uh, Bill. Of course, uh, an SB-10, as I mentioned, <laughs> it was a primitive uh, radio in its day. No, I don't see anything on the meters here. But I don't doubt that it's there. Yeah, I'm just looking at uh, one of the remote SDRs, and I'm seeing a uh, pretty strong beard. But uh, anyway, uh, I don't think it really matters. <laughs> just thought in case you wanted to know. K5AXW. Any observation between how many, I mean, how many dBs of suppression that would result, that would look like? Uh, it's probably in the 25 to 30, if I had to guess. Well, 30 is probably as good as it got on this uh, rig, but I'm looking at it on uh, the power output meters, and it does not show when I quit talking, or the output meter on the SV10. So I don't, again, I don't doubt that it's there, but it's probably about uh, the way the rig was designed. It, it could be a AM carrier on there too, because I don't see it here. Well, that could be, yeah. The AM guys in uh, California have learned to zero meet us very carefully, and we're not hearing their heterodynes anymore. As good as the band is, they could be loud also. So, yeah, if it was the AM guys in California, I'd be there all the time. Okay. Well, that's the way it is. All right. Who else for the net? K5LYN, listening. Alpha, Delta, Charlie. ADC. Hey, Rick. Good evening, Lynn and everybody on the net. This is Rick in Harlingen, Texas, on the GSB-100 Gonset. The receiver's a Drake 2B, 30 L1 amplifier, and an inverted B, up about 30 feet. Okay. Now, your signal's way up from where it's been the last couple of times we've heard you. Is that just bad conditions, or did you uh, uh, finesse the antenna a little bit or something? You know, I haven't. Well, <laughs> I don't know. It's about to fall over, because uh, we had 65-mile-an-hour winds through here the, during the day. Now, all that stuff was headed north uh, up towards Dallas. And uh, I tell you what, it, it did a number. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, here north of us, Williamson County, uh, it uh, it did lots of numbers and over into Elgin and, and Bastrop County and stuff. Did you see the video of the guy uh, that tornado turned his car over on its side, it spun it around, then turned it back on its wheels and he drove off? Yeah, I did. Uh, he'll never forget that, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, that was a really good one. Well, okay, Rick. Hey, uh, we're going to get to see you at Belton this time, I really hope. No, sir, uh, not this time. I have previous commitments. Well, darn it. Well, the GSB-100, you're always the guy, the only guy that ever has one, and it's doing a great job tonight. Yeah, it's uh, behaving itself. I guess it's operating it helped a little bit. Probably so. Well, it's good to have you around, and it's good to hear a very rare radio. When I was a kid, it was that and the HD-37. If you had one of those two radios, you were on top of the world. Yeah, I'm happy with the thing. All right, anything else for the net this evening? No, 7-3. All right, great to hear you. All right, who else? K5LYN, listening. W5OMR. Hey, Jeff, talk to us. Very good to hear you, Lynn, and I listened uh, intently. I tuned off about uh, 20 cycles up to band, or, uh, yeah, about 20 cycles, and I uh, heard the carriers. There were two different carriers, and they were coming up and going down while you and the previous guy were talking, so as the uh, West Coast guys, don't worry about it. You're clean. Good to hear you. I'm running the... Uh, well, it, it's almost a boat anchor in and of itself. It's a uh, Kenwood TS-690, which is a six-meter version of a TS-450. And I'm driving that into an old Drake L7 amplifier using a uh, uh, Tintec uh, model 238 open-wire tenor into a full-way 75-meter delta leaf apex up at about 65 feet thereabouts. And uh, I've got my Viking 2 sitting here, but my VFO is under repair. And I've only got a 3880 crystal. I have a 3870 crystal, but it's about 3870.75 or something like that. Good to hear you, Lynn. Thanks, sitting over here in the Splendora. Uh, 
man. Everybody sounds good here on the boat anchor night tonight. Steve L-Y-M, W-5-O-M-R. Oh, and I talked to Jim, J-K-O. He said the bad weather got as close to 30, it's 35 and 45, the toll road, and uh, they didn't have any uh, any tense moments at all over there at his place in Round Rock. J-5-L-O-Y-M, W-5-O-M-R, hello, Bill. Yeah, I was just about to tell you about J.K.O. He came in on AM last week here on the net and sounded like a million bucks. So if you get that Viking 2 with a VFO, uh, join us. Hey, you going to be at Belton? Oh, yes, sir. Yeah, well, let's find a VFO and put that thing here on the net. I, I can do that. Well, I can also take the uh, cold dash line out of the... Uh out of the exciter here that I'm talking on and feed that to the VFO section, but you know, it's a, it involves a lot of switching for coax switches, but I've done it. Yeah, 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 you know what frequency you're on at least. Oh, Roger. Absolutely. All right, Jeff, anything else for the net this evening? Uh, we're good, Liam. Thanks. Good to hear you. Good to talk to you. We'll see you Saturday, uh, Friday and Saturday. Outstanding. Great. All right, who else for the net? K5LYN. AF5CDG. Okay, AF5CDG. Uh, Is that right? That sounds familiar. It's uh, KF5CDG. I was going to say, I do hear that carrier on you. It's uh, got a, a slight AC ripple to it that's not very strong, but it is definitely coming from your station. Well, uh, I don't, like I was telling Bill a while ago, I don't doubt it at all. That's the way it was back in 59. Yeah, Roger. Yeah, just, I don't know why uh, nobody else was hearing it except for me and the first gentleman, but it's there. Anyway, that's all I had to say. KFI CDG. All right. Okay, let's, uh, Jay, you want to take a few, and then uh, we'll go around the table here one last time. KM5QS, K5LYN. Okay. Yeah, we can try that. And uh, just for just to add to the confusion, um, of course, there's no way to see it on the 820, but I can't hear anything wrong with your audio. But then, who knows, maybe I just can't hear. <laughs> no, it's, anyway, for what we're doing, uh, I think it sounds fine. And, um, and like that, and by the way, that reminds me, I forgot to say what I was operating when I first took off a while ago. But since Nick said that I had a rock crushing signal going up there, I guess I'll I guess I'll brag on it a little bit. Uh, tonight I'm on the Kenwood TS 820S, and the receiver is the Kenwood R 820. I have them hooked up in transceive. I'm using an Electro Voice 664 Alpha microphone and putting everything through a TL922 amplifier. That's the rock crusher part. Uh, homebrew antenna tuner and a homebrew open wire line and antenna 160 meter dipole stretched out across the neighborhood. All that being said, is there anyone else out there we haven't talked to yet that would like to check in to a Devoat Anchors Unlimited net on the night before Belton? WCI WLF. Okay, Jimmy. I tried to. Yeah, I heard somebody else under there. Let me get Jimmy and then I'll call, I'll call again. Go ahead, Jimmy. Okay, yeah, my daughter came and and I, I, I uh, got in there, just got the business and went there. I don't get much of a chance, so I took it. And uh, so we're coming to you to say thank you, Jay. I appreciate it. This is Jimmy. KC5 WLF, and my location is in Northwest Austin, actually Cedar Park. So I don't have to claim on it, but it's just over there, you know. But anyway, I'm speaking on my FT101 Zulu Delta, and uh, the ra same radio I've been using for a long time. And I noticed it drifted down just this coast, but uh, I'll get it back up here in a minute. I'm speaking on an off-center fed dipole and 80 meters, and uh, I don't have to have a tuner anywhere in this in the band. It's, it, it's just resonant. Really good antenna. So anyway, good evening to everybody. I hope nobody else had a whole bunch of damage. I know there was damage close to my house and over in Round Rock, and, and it's heartbreaking to see some of the damage that I've seen over there. And I hope uh, I hope nobody had this stuff. I had one friend his tower come down 
uh, and uh, WD-5 EMS, his uh, 55 foot tower came down with all his antennas on it. But I don't know of anybody else yet. So good evening to the net, and um, we'll go ahead and go on, and, and maybe, maybe we won't have any more of them like that today. KC-5 WLF, good evening, and back to the net. Okay, Jimmy. Yeah, we're not not for the next few days anyway. The weatherman promised me <laughs> for whatever that's worth. Um, thanks for checking in. All right, who uh, who is the other station? Go ahead. WJ and recheck, Jay. Oh. All right. Um, yeah, let me let me get a, let me get Jim. Uh, did y'all have any problem over there, Jim? Here at the house, none. But. Uh just south of us, they had a bunch of stuff tore up, houses flat, and uh, vehicles towed around like they was uh, matchboxes, but uh, right right here by me, we were all right, and then uh, all that main damage was south of me, but they had uh, another one east of me that all it all it tore up was trees and stuff that was in a rural exit uh, area. So we got all wrong. We got all this time. And the truck loaded, the Jeep loaded. I'll see you tomorrow evening. In five WJA. All right, good deal. Yeah, at first I saw the news, the news coverage of what what's left of parts of New Orleans, and um, my first thought was, Oh Lord, <laughs> I hope not. But anyway, I'm glad y'all didn't have any problem up there, and I, I uh, pray for the ones that did. Hopefully they get uh, get everything fixed up pretty quick. You sounded good this evening. And was there someone else in there? Yeah, recheck me. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, regarding what folks are hearing, I uh, put the uh, watt meter on the 200 watt scale and keyed down and didn't talk and confirmed uh, that the meter shows one watt. So we know there are some very good receivers out there. <laughs> okay. Well, like I say, I'm I'm not on, you know, the only thing I'm watching on my waterfall is my signal. Um, cause, so I can't, I couldn't see it. But uh, as far as for what we're doing, I mean, I, you know, I wouldn't know if it wasn't there. But, uh, okay. Well, let, uh, let me see. What am I doing? Let me see if I can get one more. Is there anybody we haven't talked to yet uh, that would like to check in? And uh, if you do, I'll tell you why. Well, maybe not. All right, uh, Rusty, see if you can get number 40. Well, I'll give it a try. Uh, when I run out, do y'all want me to wrap it up there, Lynn? Well, uh, we've been here a long time, and uh, if anybody else wants to talk to us, we ought to pick them up. But we may have covered the territory. I'll leave it up to you. Okay. All right. And I'd like uh, Jay. I didn't say what I'm on. I'm not on a boat anchor. I'm on my usual little TS-590, the Audio Technica microphone. And I'm driving the homebrew GS-35B amplifier at, hello, it's about 1,300 and something. Into a uh, homebrew fan dive pull up about 50 feet. That's what we got going on here. So if there's anybody else out there that we hadn't uh, talked to yet or running late or whatever who wants to get in on the Boat Anchors Unlimited net, come now. I need to talk to WJA after the net. Let me find what was it. Oh, that'll work. Done. <laughs> All right. Anybody else out there for the Boat Anchors Unlimited net? We may have run the, rant, run the gambit now. Come now. I'll put me down for the side. Who's that? Sammy? Who said put you down? Was that you, Sammy? Yeah, it was the last time I looked. <laughs> okay. Got anything for the net, Sammy? I think a lot of these guys are way too damn critical. They need to try to put some of this stuff on the air and try to make it work. And then they can critique it, you know, critique them. Critiquing somebody for a little bit of carry is pretty damn stupid to me, but that's yeah. just me. The best thing is not paying attention to those guys. Well, just need to try to do it themselves before they uh, they can critique anybody else. Anyway, that's all I got. 
<laughs> okay, Sammy. And we look forward to seeing you down there at the uh, at Belton. All right. Anybody else out there for the Boat Anchors Unlimited come now? Well, we may have run the run the deal there. I did get number 40 there for you, Zay. Got Sammy. <laughs> All righty. Last call. Anybody out anywhere? Uh, you do not have to be on a boat. I could just interested in what we're doing. Uh, you want to get in here before we close the net? Come now. I don't think a carrier is illegal. Uh, AM is illegal. Could be a modified AM signal. N5 to yeah. <laughs> you must be right, Bill. All right. Hearing nobody else, I guess I'll... Uh, uh, we appreciate everybody that checked in. Good night. Ben has been in good shape. So, uh, uh, this is WK5R with the Boat Anchors Unlimited Net. And we're going to be looking forward to seeing everybody that can get there at Belton. I'll be there around noon on Friday. See y'all then if I don't talk to you between now and then. So, this is WK5R now closing the, the Boat Anchors Unlimited net and returning the frequency to normal amateur abuse.